This is a grid on a 2D plane. These are two parallel lines, and as a result of their parallelism, they will never get closer to or farther from each other. You can extend these lines to infinity, and never the twain shall meet. This fact is fundamental to what we call Euclidean geometry, named after the ancient Greek philosopher Euclid, and it is always true. That is, unless the lines are not on a flat plane, and are instead on a curved surface, like, say, a sphere. When, like on the sphere, parallel lines do not say at an equal distance from each other, the geometry is called non-Euclidean. This, of course, is never useful, unless you happen to live on one or something. In Euclidean geometry, a line follows the shortest path between two points. In non-Euclidean geometry, the analogous features are called geodesics, and on a sphere they follow great circle paths. Great circle paths follow the edges of imaginary circles that path through the center of their sphere. This means that traveling straight on a curved surface does not necessarily mean traveling along a line. To see an extreme example of this, look no further than right near the northern pole of this sphere. Even though both apparent lines are straight, the red path is shorter than the blue path. This is because it resides on a great circle path, and while the blue path is on a circular path, its circle does not share a center with the sphere. An interesting aspect of great circle lines is that they appear arced on many map projections. This is why many airplanes appear to follow curved flight paths on maps. They are following the shorter great circle paths. Spheres have what is called a continuous positive Gaussian curvature, meaning that they curve outwards and parallel lines on them converge. By turning the sphere inside out, you find a section of a type of hyperboloid that has continuous negative Gaussian curvature, meaning that it curves inwards and parallel lines on it diverge from each other. Both the sphere and the hyperboloid are examples of non-Euclidean geometries. As a result of their respective continuous curvatures, the former is an example of elliptical non-Euclidean geometry, while the latter is of hyperbolic non-Euclidean geometry. Spheres and hyperboloids are in higher dimensions, which allow their curvatures. However, geometry can be non-Euclidean without higher dimensions. When this is the case, space itself is bent, but it retains all of the same properties as non-Euclidean geometries on surfaces, such as straight lines following apparently curved paths. One great example of this is a little thing called space-time. Non-Euclidean geometry deals with the general characteristics of curved surfaces and space, and is a part of mathematics that can be purely theoretical or can be used on all scales, from smaller than our humble planet to the size of our universe.